So, just like with Jesus and the Apostles, I just started off very simply in 1991, living on Divine Providence, and actually the second year that I began traveling, I came down here to Florida. And I came right down along this coast, my second year traveling, um, in 1992, and um, I was traveling with a friend named Beverly, and we had so many miracles every day. They were kind of dramatic miracles too, you know. Not like the loaves and the fishes or parting the Red Sea or something like that, but pretty dramatic for me. Um, one of them became one of the parables, because I used to say to Jesus, you know, do I have to like teach him, come up with parables, you know? There was a man who had two sons, and do I have to like figure these things out? And he said, no, no, your life as it plays out in form will be the parables. Just through the experiences you'll have in everyday living, the Holy Spirit will use those. So when I came down this way, I remember going down the coast my first time to Miami, Florida, and of course the miracles book, all worn out, you know, in the front seat, all these great CDs and going along. And I had heard that there was a, a couple that was going to host us in their house, and so we had only like a phone number, and I had never met them, came down, called them up, no answer, so I said, let's just go for a walk out by the beach. And we parked in the park, we went out there, and it's like maybe a couple hours before we got to, the, to Miami, uh, my friend was talking about her car, we were using her car, and she was just saying something about her car, and I said, well you know, really these are just symbols that the Holy Spirit and Jesus can use in any way that they want. We can call them my car, and my body, and you know, my bank account, but really it's just a bunch of symbols. Holy Spirit uses, and he'll just use it in any way that serves the plan. We got down there, we parked the car at the park, we took the walk, and when we came back, the car was gone. Oh. This is what I mean by, for me it's dramatic. <laughs> it's my second, my second trip out, it's a good, it will turn into like a six week trip. And I go to, to Miami, never been to Miami before, and I go down there, and now, the suitcases, the course books, all the CDs, music, all the, the donations, money, whatever we had for the trip, which is not that much, everything, the car itself gone. So we come back and we're standing, uh, you know, the little white lines to park where you park. We're standing on either side and we're looking at each other, and she's just got this look of terror, like, oh my God, my car is gone. My car is gone. Everything is gone. We have nothing. She actually was splashing in the ocean. So she was wet clothes. So she's standing there in wet clothes and there's nothing there. And I said, this is going to be very interesting. Because I had just, I've been in the Course and I just had so many miracles kind of revving up. And I mean, lots of miracles every day. And so I was kind of having these huge insights. And lots of stuff like this was happening to me, so I didn't think it was completely strange. I said it would be very interesting. And then she looked at me again, petrified, and the Spirit said, she said through me, nothing you need will be denied you. All the things work together for good. There are no exceptions, except in the ego's judgment. And everything that seems to happen to me, I ask for, and receive as I've asked. So she got a small smile on her face <laughs> with those ideas. And I said, here we go. Well, we started just walking in the park. Because we didn't have anything. Um, I think I still had my a piece of paper with the name of our host, who I'd never met in their phone number, but that's about it. No cell phones. Nothing. We walked, we only got maybe 400 yards and this green truck, uh, the, the park workers came and they picked us up. They said, hey, what are you doing walking out here? We started to explain to them, they took us to the ranger station. Then we had a group of people suddenly surrounding us. And I always tell people that it seems like people are people, but actually they're just thoughts. All the people in our lives are just representing thoughts in our consciousness. They're just acting out 
things that we think and believe in. Well, this was like a swarm of Delphos, because we told the story exactly as it had happened. And they said, this is Miami. You, your car is gone. And one woman said, you know, she had a park ranger thing on, she said, that car is probably painted and shipped off to Jamaica by now. You know, really just reflecting doubt and fear. But we were in the state of mind where we were looking for miracles and knowing that it would all work out. It would be interesting to see how. So it was fascinating because they took us, we did all the normal things. We called, reported, lost wallets, lost credit cards. You know the thing you're supposed to do when you, such a thing happens. And then I called my friend who I'd never met, who's going to host us, and he said, come by. And that, the miracles just cascaded from there. He came by with his partner, they took us, and on the way to their house, still no car, um, they said, well, let's stop by. He said, I was in AA, and I have an AA group that I always visit. I would love to introduce you to all my AA friends. So we went there, went right in, and sure enough, they had a big box, and they were collecting clothing for the homeless, the needy. And again, we just told them simply what had happened, and they said, well, come on in the back room here. Miami, I tell you, these donations, this was like really good stuff. I mean, really good. Everything. Underwear, socks, really sharp outfits. Which, after like ten minutes of me doing that, I, I had a exquisite wardrobe. <laughs> I mean exquisite. Which prompted Beverly to say, hmm, the Holy Spirit dresses you better than you dress you. Uh, only in Miami could you get at an AA. It was an amazing wardrobe. I mean, I really, I got a, like a major upgrade. And that was exactly how my life was going and that's exactly how it went. What would seem as theft of a car, loss of everything, da 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 da, da quickly was used completely by the Holy Spirit. And actually the, the car, that was like on a Friday, the car was recovered and Monday we went to an impound lot and it had been stripped, the, the uh, steering column. But again, we're in Miami, so we said, no problem. We have a whole industry down here that takes care of stripped um, steering columns. And it wasn't really that long. We were only there for several days. Went to a course group. The only thing in that car that didn't belong to us was a tent that we had borrowed in Cincinnati. And I thought, well, that's not even our tent. And so I said, we, we were going to sleep in it. We went to the course group. They, we told them just a little bit of it. They passed the hat at the end. They, we had gone to a, a, a sporting goods store and they had a one used tent there and they gave us, it was like $58.25 or something like that. We they passed the hat at the course group and it was $58. <laughs> and it was the exact amount of the only item that we had that was not ours, that needed to be replaced. We were just like, whoa, it just, and then the synchronicities, just one after the next, after the next. Before you know it, we're down, we're going up the other coast, the Gulf Coast, stopping at Unity Churches, places where we were invited, telling the same parable, which is just trust, life takes care. When you serve God, whatever you seem to need will be provided, without your effort. And that's exactly what that was. So I had a lot of travels and a lot of gatherings, and that was one of the, the early parables from down here in Florida, which was, you know, less than 50. I am sustained by the love of God. You know, we don't have to hold on to the thought system that thinks that we are personally responsible for surviving. We need to open up to the thought system that says we are a child of God, perfectly innocent, perfectly cared for by God, and that those early experiences for me in the early 90s were important because I had so much learned pride of taking care of myself and what you have to do and how you have to work to get security, you know, security of the body and so on and so forth. And these miraculous experiences that came through the Course just showed me that everything was taken care of. 